Max says, is there a way to get email notifications when someone in a team has posted a message? I found only this notification in the team's client under settings. You can activate this. Brings with me, but unfortunately nothing. Uh, can someone show a photo of how such a mail looks like? Could this be because we do not use Exchange or Outlook online? We still have an on-premise mm -hmm. uh, Exchange server, and therefore no connection between mails between the cloud and local Exchange. We use only AAD for login. I'm going to defer to Sharon on that one. Yeah, so if you are <laughs> only using AAD for login for online stuff and you have a separate ad account and you know it sounds probably like they're just they probably don't even have like maybe ad connect set up or anything like that um what you would have to do is you would have to leave it open in the web enable notifications for your browser and then if you mm -hmm. enable notifications for your browser you will see the notifications um if you don't have outlook online that's going to get kind of messy um i do know like there's some power automate workflows so like if you really want to be fancy there are power automate workflows where you can go in the back and there's actually a pre-built template where you can say if there's a teams message send me an email and if you do that you can email it to yourself and it will notify you i have a question i have a question <laughs> i thought it was required that for teams to function there has to be an exchange online, a cloud exchange. That there there's does. the top secret double pinky behind the scenes it creates, even there if you does, don't have but, one. But if what they're doing is maintaining their Active Directory on prem, and they're only allowing them to log in for Teams, and they've got the exchange options shut down for them to access it online. What's happening is it's actually creating it; they just can't see it. Hmm. So they they're each other. Right? I've seen organizations that have this that are in the pro a lot of them are usually in the process of migrating their exchange over, and so they don't want people in there while they're doing that. And sometimes that can take six, eight, nine months to complete that project. Um, and so in the meantime, it's kind of like you're flying blind. And so I have seen people, it's everything, like I said, either stay in the browser with your notifications on where it ding, 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 dings all day, or set a workflow to anytime I mentioned in Teams, email me, like you can actually build some stuff on the background until they get it over there. Um, but the other thing is push on your IT team and your exchange team to get that connected and enabled as soon as possible because it definitely um, can drive a person crazy for sure. I've seen it. We but with, and so the, the earlier option, so with the browser notifications, but you have to have it open the entire time. If you, you close have to it, leave it open yes. yeah. so you can leave the browser open. You can also leave your phone. So here's another handy kind of trick mm. hack is if you have the Teams app on your mobile device, your iPad, your phone, um, any mobile device that you want to put it on, you can actually leave it open on your mobile device and enable notifications. And then it'll actually at least notify you on your phone. And then you would know to go look on the browser. Um, yeah. I've seen people do that as well. But yeah, you have to leave something open for it to happen that way. Well, and this goes back to a conversation we were having when we were in Minnesota this last week. People are, you know, they, they're like, oh, we want to move to OneDrive. We want to move to Teams. We want to do this. We'll, we'll do Exchange later. We'll do it to Exchange later. That's not how it works, right? Exchange it just talks makes it of, messy. is the spine Every, of everybody. Everybody talks about how, as well, it's, you know, uh, with Teams, it's SharePoint <laughs> under the covers. No, it's ex SharePoint and Exchange yes. under That's the right. covers. It's SharePoint and for and final Active management. Directory. It's Exchange for messaging um, and notifications. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of other little pieces here and there for different apps. Um, but yeah, so Teams is just a browser interface, basically. Yeah. yeah. And Active Directory has is like the nerve center of everything. You can't you can't do that later. You got to do. Yeah, that I used to say that the primary. So people think that Exchange or Outlook is the primary consumer of Active Directory, and that's not true. SharePoint was always the primary consumer of Active Directory. That was the first time people get AD health checks. Is their SharePoint stuff? It would pop up, and their contact cards would be empty. They wouldn't be able to use uh, the little people picker drop downs and things like that. Would convince them to go do AD health checks. Well, Teams. Teams is even more, right? Like your your people, that people stuff that's coming in from AD, if you want to see org charts, if you want to be able to have the little people picker cards so that you can like see who they are, who they're connected to, how to contact them. Yeah, becomes presence. presence. 
becomes yeah. so crucially important with AD. Wow. Fix your AD people first. Yeah, Max. <laughs> integrate roll, integrate roll, your apps. Get your health out. checks. Put it all roll in the same out exchange place. Online. Come on, guys. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just, <laughs> just get on that. <laughs> <laughs> Small project, people. Yes, love that. Thank you.